Hello, and welcome to Sydney, the capital of the state of New South Wales in Australia, and the most populous city in the whole of Oceania, with over 5 million inhabitants. Sydney is frequently listed as one of the most livable cities in the world, and during this visit, we'll find out why. Starting here in downtown Sydney, which is often referred to simply as the city, it runs from Circular Quay in the north to the Central Railway Station in the south, and from the Royal Botanical Gardens in the east to Darling Harbour in the west. We'll visit these places later on. Right now, we're on the crossing of George Street and Druitt Street. George Street was Sydney's original high street and remains one of the busiest streets in the city center. It connects a number of the city's most important buildings and precincts. Some notable buildings here include the Queen Victoria Building. Designed as a marketplace, it was used for a variety of other purposes and suffered decay until its restoration and returned to its original use in the late 20th century. Another obvious eye-catcher is the Town Hall, which houses the chambers of the Lord Mayor of Sydney, council offices, and venues for meetings and functions. The steps in front of the Town Hall are also a popular meeting place for residents. Let's continue to what's probably Sydney's most famous landmark, the Opera House. It's Australia's leading performing arts location, which contains seven performance venues. Designed by Danish architect Jorn Utzen, but completed by an Australian architectural team, the building was completed in 1973. The building and surroundings occupy the whole of Benelong Point on Sydney Harbour. From the northern square, you have an excellent view on Port Jackson, also known as Sydney Harbour, the natural bay which forms the ports of Sydney. Crossing the northwestern corner of the Opera House, you can see the city's business district and high-rise buildings, as well as the Circular Quay, Sydney's main transportation hub for international travel. Often referred to as the Gateway to Sydney, the Circular Quay area is a popular neighborhood for tourism and consists of walkways, pedestrian malls, parks, and restaurants. It hosts a number of ferry quays, bus stops, and a railway station, and it's great fun just to watch the constant coming and going of people and ferries. On the southern shore of the Sydney Harbour lies The Rocks, a suburb, tourist precinct, and historic area. Established shortly after the colony's formation in 1788. From the earliest history of the settlement, the area had a reputation as a slum, and it was the arriving convict side of town, often frequented by visiting sailors and prostitutes. 